Governor Mark Dayton will announce who he's appointing to the Minnesota Supreme Court. It will fill a vacancy that was created by the retirement of Associate Justice Christopher Deason. Deason uh, is expected to step down because he is going to see He's actually going to turn 70 in March, and Jason, that's just two months after that, you know, that age. Where yeah, there's a retire. mandatory retirement age of 70, and so Esme, he is stepping down mm -hmm. in advance. He could have just said, well, I'm not going to run again and have right. an open seat in November, and the voters could have picked. Uh, why, why is he doing this? Why not, why not let the people vote? Mm -hmm. I, I think that what, this, this happens a lot, and it's sort of a, a tradition, I think, for many times the justices do it this way, and I think it's a way of avoiding the partisanship that has come up and that is so predominant in other states. I, it's worked well. The Minnesota Supreme Court works and they're nonpartisan and gosh that's unusual it these days. It is unusual, right? <laughs> Boy, we just saw an election in Wisconsin that was a train wreck, I think, right. for people who want the judiciary to be above partisanship. Now, I will say there are plenty of people who say, why are we pretending to be nonpartisan? I mean, the uh, jurors are people and they have political feelings and and why not just let it air it out in the open and have people decide. Yeah. Well, because I think the balance of powers, not the state I level that. and the federal <laughs> level, people, uh, justices are supposed to be nonpartisan. But historically, uh, in 2008, 2009, during the Frank and Coleman recount, it was the Minnesota Supreme Court that was really stacked heavily with Republican appointees that decided for Senator Al Franken. I think that the Minnesota Supreme Court should be commended for being that And that, that was probably the biggest, or one of the most recent famous cases that the Minnesota State Absolutely. Supreme Court has decided. But we've seen in other states that mm -hmm. Supreme Courts do decide controversial issues. So it, it, it does make a difference of who the justices are. Absolutely. And Esme, I know that there's a, a short list of a couple of finalists. There, there is a short list of three. Mm -hmm. if, if I had to bet, and nobody bets on these things, right. but I'll, I'll bet. <laughs> I, uh, um, the last time uh, Governor Dayton uh, filled an appointment. He chose the first openly gay justice, uh, mm -hmm. Judge, Justice Margaret Chudich, and appointed her. There is a younger justice, uh, Judge Ann McKeague of Hennepin County, who is Native American, and she would be the first, if certainly one of the first, but I think probably the first Native American justice. Mm -hmm. Possibly that could happen. All right, that news coming in just about 45 minutes, 10 o'clock this morning.